Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com Today's tutorial looks at using the subtotal feature within Microsoft Excel. The subtotal feature is used to group and summarise data using uh, the, the standard main functions within Excel including sum, count, average, uh, max, standard deviation and so on. Looking at this data we have here, which is 800 rows of, of various orders for certain products by certain salespeople, etc. We would like to run a subtotal to, uh, to analyse and extract some information from this. As an example, we would like to find out uh, the, the amount of money, the, the, the total amount of money brought in by each salesperson, which as you can see at the moment is in no particular order and the order amounts included in the last column here. So we're going to use the subtotal feature and group it by a sales people to get that information out of it. First thing we'll need to do is we need to sort the column by salesperson. Probably the most popular thing that people tend to forget before they use the subtotal feature is to sort the data by the column they want to group by first of all. So I'm just going to click on one of the sales people within that column uh, I'm going to go for the data tab as we'll need that for subtotal as well in a moment. I'm just going to choose A to Z to quickly sort the salesperson column within an ascending order. So now I have all the Buchanan's together, followed by Callahan, followed by Dodds, and so on and so forth. And now we're going to create our subtotals, which I'll do using the subtotal button on the right hand side there of the data tab. Give it a click. Uh, you can see in the background it's just selected my data there. Usually before you click that you may wish to select data yourself. Uh, because I'm quite familiar with the structure of this data, I know that it wasn't necessary. I know that Excel is going to select it correctly for me. The first question it's going to ask me within this dialog box is that each change in. So what am I looking to group the data by? My answer to that is salesperson. I want to group it by salesperson and find the sum of their order amounts. So the answer to the function is once again going to be sum. If I just click on that drop down list though, we can see so the usual suspects, if you will, count average max with some others as we go down. I'll leave that as sum. We then get to choose the columns that we're gonna subtotal or sum in this case. X will, will always assume that the column on the far right hand side is the one that you want to perform the function on. And in this case, it is correct. If we did have other columns that we wanted to perform the function on, then we could just check the appropriate columns. Obviously, in this scenario, that's unnecessary. Now, I'll stay with the default settings here at the bottom, so then it will replace any current subtotals, of which there aren't any. I do not want a page break between groups, uh, which could be useful for printing if I wanted to print each salesperson on a different page. I'm not going to worry about that for now, and I'm also going to get a summary below my data, so I'll get a grand total. I'll just click on OK. Excel will perform the, the subtotals, and now I can see I have Buchanan's list. As I scroll down, I'll get the sum of their order amount there into Callahan, the sum of that order amount, let that go, and so on and so forth, all the way down. To row 800 or so in this case. Now one of the good things about subtotals is on the left hand side you also get your data grouped. Uh, you get these three numbers at the top in you know, different levels of grouping. For example if I click on number one this is the top level so just a grand total. If I click on number two this is the more popular options now I've got each salesperson. Yeah, so I can easily see the totals without all the extra information. You do get your plus and minus signs on the left here as well, so you can expand the data to see the orders that make up that total. And you can easily collapse them again to, to take that away. Number three is the full level of detail, so you get all the orders as well, just as it was to start with. Well, it's a fairly easy to run this subtotal tool, uh, which one of its, its big advantages over other options there are for kind of analyzing and summarizing data. If at any point you didn't want these subtotals anymore, to remove them, it's just a case of going back to your subtotal button, 
and within the dialog box in the corner you have your removal button if you give that a click that's it the subtotals go uh, the outline items icons which is what they record over on the far left they're gone and to return to my normal data set and that is the subtotal feature in Excel I hope you find it useful uh, please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel, the Computer Gaga. Check us out at computergaga.com and uh, all the other tutorials, tips, quizzes, everything that we offer.